belongs in our circle of community. This is the day that the Lord has made, so let us rejoice and be glad in it. Today we continue to journey together, thinking about our world and how we can change it through loving kindness. I wonder, have you ever taken a moment to stop and look at the stained glass windows at Trinity? Or maybe stained glass windows in another building throughout town? Not only are these stained glass windows beautiful works of art that look spectacular when the sun hits it and help us worship even more joyfully, but historically, stained glass windows were also used to tell stories of the Bible to both children and people who could not read. It was a way to share the good news with many, many people without words. Today, we are going to make our own stained glass windows. I invite you to find your piece of paper that has the compassion to use the big picture, along with your wax piece of paper and the tissue paper that has green, teal, and blue in it. I invite you to go ahead and cut out the circle, asking an adult for help if you need to, to color in the circle however you would like. Then you are going to take your wax piece of paper and cut it in a circle also, so you can't see it beyond the big circle. And you're going to glue pieces of tissue paper all over in whatever design you would like. We are going to use these stained glass pieces to help us remember the beauty of God's world and to help us know that it's great to show compassion and to view the world sometimes in a new and different way. After you are done making it and it is dried, I invite you to either tape it to a window or find some string and hang it so that as the sunlight comes through, it will remind us of the beauty and compassion of all of God's world and all of God's people. Thank you for joining us today.